So one of the main cells for WoW Remix was the Cloak of Infinite Power, and that you can power it with all your characters and quickly level up all. Yeah. Right, that was the big sell from Blizzard. Now my assumption was, if we keep leveling our main cloak, we get super powerful cloak for all alts, and yeah. all the alts work towards our cloak that is connected through all these characters. Let's see if that actually works. Here I have somewhat powerful cloak. Comparingly, it's not a super strong cloak, but it would be amazing for a level 10 or level 20. Now let's make a new character to test what do we get. I mean, I'll quick... Honestly, he is not updated a little bit and a spoiler, he is gonna get disappointed because the new cloak is gonna be only capped to 100% XP and half of the stats that he had, you know. We make a new monk here. Wasabi, of course it's taken. What about Wasabi Wall? There we go. When you log in your freshly created character, you got to do a prequest to get the cloak. Yes. But the nice thing is, if you already have done it once, you can just skip the whole prequest and just get the cloak right away and start leveling from there on. That's pretty good. That's good. We're skipping a waste of time. If we put the cloak on, it's pretty powerful for level 10, but we had way better stats on our main character. Yeah. Look, the experience is only 100%. Lots of stats are just zero. Zero. And we got 150 agility and versatility and 750 stats. And that's why you, there is no point of making outs, right? Because they didn't make the experience of leveling on out that much easier and enjoyable and faster. Like the idea of leveling on out with the exact same cloak that you boosted and leveled and buffed and whatever, it, it's just amazing because you're gonna slash through everything with that out. But right now that's not gonna be the case. And that is it. Well, that's, that's kind of disappointing. Yeah. Okay, maybe the cloak oh, yeah. levels with us to uh, to our max cloak as we level up. Maybe that's how it works. That would kind of make sense, right? Okay, let's try to level up and see. You definitely feel very powerful, comparingly what it felt like when I started my first character. Yeah. This is, this is way better. Here I gotta level up. Let's see if any stats increased for the cloak. And the answer is no. Oh my god, Blizzard actually scammed. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that you're not boosting even your cloak when you're leveling additionally. Looks like the cloak does not level up with us each level. Oh no. Okay, I want to continue to level up. Maybe maybe there is a thing where the cloak only levels up every 10 levels or something? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna keep leveling up. We yeah. can one-shot the starting mobs. Previously, it wasn't as easy. So that's pretty good. I'm on a DPS spec, and I still have tons and tons of HP, and uh, you can pull packs of mobs, and they don't really do much damage to you. So I got to level 20, and it does not seem like the cloak upgrades after 10 levels. <laughs> That's bad news. I did some dungeons, and my cloak oh, man. upgrades from threads from the dungeons, but that is it. The... No, I still got five levels. I got to level 25 and still nothing. The raids are open. Maybe I thought maybe that's some kind of key, keystone level, but no. So from what I understand, you only get the cloak as it is when you create the character. And that's it. From there on, each cloak has the life on its own. <laughs> they are in no way connected. You are not powering Scam. one cloak with all your characters. Instead, you do the achievement of powering your best cloak, and then new characters will only get the cloak that you saw when I created my new character. That's the best cloak you ever gonna get. I would say that's very disappointing. Very. Um, very and I very. thought that the cloak would be something that all your characters are slowly working towards to, making it more powerful making each alt more powerful, but 
But maybe it would be too overpowered, I don't know, you know? I mean, the cloak you get is still pretty good starting point, but it's nowhere near what you would have on your main character. This does not want me to level any alts, though. And yep. maybe this would make it just a little bit better than making a character in Dragonflight. So, yeah. Not sure. A if little it's bit really better. Worth it to level up any alts through the WoW remix. You might as well do it on retail, I think. I can just go to Pandaria if you want to. Unless <laughs> there's probably a sneaky way to level up alts quickly through here, because there's a lot of broken mechanics here, but not in a common normal sense. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and now you know that it's pointless to upgrade your cloak to a certain point if you just want to level up your alt. So, yeah. Like and subscribe. Yeah. See you. What can I say? I, I, I have said in one video that I'm super disappointed with that decision, and that totally ruined the WoW Remix. I, I imagined how I will have a lot of characters in WoW Remix. But first of all, it's not as fun as... Like, I went into WoW Remix, I created a character, I played for 20 minutes, and I had a blast. I log into the next day, and it was not fun anymore. For some reason, it, it was all gone. And uh, a few days after that, I understand that... Uh, the cloak is not working as intended, and now the magic is gone. But I still want that mount from WoW Remix, so back to WoW.